Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the cell cycle and as part of the cell cycle we're looking at something called mitosis. Mitosis, And mitosis is really important because it is involved in growth. So when you grow from a baby to an adult, new cells are needed. And it's also important for repairing damaged tissue, making cells for repairing damaged tissue. Now there are various parts of the cell cycle and we're going to look at the first part which is called the interphase and the interphase is followed by something called mitosis here are the diagrams for mitosis we'll look at those in a moment and then we've got cytokinesis so one two and three these are the three stages of the cell cycle we'll take a look at mitosis in a moment but firstly let's take a look at the interphase so the interphase part of the cell cycle is when very importantly, the DNA copies itself, makes a copy of itself, and there are new subcellular structures made in the cell. For example, mitochondria, ribosomes, and if it's a plant cell, then structures like chloroplasts. So that's the interface where the cell prepares itself for dividing. The next stage, as we said, is mitosis, and we'll look at that in detail in a moment. And then we have the third stage, which is cytokinesis. So overall, what we have is a parent cell to begin with, a parent cell. This then splits into two daughter cells, two daughter cells, and these are identical to the parent cell. In humans, the parent cells have 46 chromosomes. The DNA is arranged in 46 chromosomes, and the daughter cells also have 46 chromosomes each as well. We describe this number of chromosomes as diploid, so that's the full set of chromosomes that each cell has. That diploid number is different for different living things, but for humans, it's 46. So we have the parent cells and the daughter cells. It's very important to remember that the daughter cells are identical to each other. They are genetically identical, therefore they are clones. But not only are they identical to each other, they are also identical to the parent cell as well. So the daughter cells are identical to the parent cells, and that's a very important feature of mitosis, producing these identical cells. Let's take a look at mitosis in the amount of detail that we need to know it. Okay, so mitosis. These are enlarged diagrams of what we had on the previous screen. And in terms of mitosis, the first stage that we talk about is called the prophase. The prophase. Now in the prophase, this is where the nucleus disappears, or the nuclear membrane disappears, and the chromosomes appear in pairs in the cell. We also have the formation of what's called spindle fibers, so these begin to form as well, and we'll see what, the, what those do in a minute. But these are our spindle fibers. Spindle fibers. And that's the prophase. In the next stage, we have what's called the metaphase. And in the metaphase, this is where the chromosomes line up along the center of the cell. Sometimes we call that the equator of the cell. You can see here the spindle fibers have attached to the chromosomes. So the spindle fibers attach to the chromosomes and they attach at a very specific place right in the middle or close to the middle of the chromosome called the centromere. Centromere. And that's where the spindle fibers attach. In the next phase, we have what's called the anaphase. And this is where the chromosomes separate. They are pulled apart by the spindle fibers, as you can see there, to opposite ends of the cell. And then we have the telophase. In the telophase, the chromosomes reach the ends of the cell. The nucleus begins to reappear, or the nuclear membrane begins to reappear, and the cell begins to pinch off into two separate cells for the final stage. And this, as we called it before, was cytokinesis. Cytokinesis, this is where the cell splits into two. So that's the final stage of mitosis. These are the stages highlighted. These are the stages you need to know and know the details of as described on the screen there. And this is all mitosis, stage two of the cell cycle, and this is cytokinesis, which was the final stage of the cell cycle. Some students like to remember all of this by using the phrase, the phrase is it a phrase, acronym, the acronym IPMAT, but you do need a C on the end of it for cytokinesis, so it's IPMAT with a C. And in terms of what they mean, the I is the interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase is mitosis, and then finally cytokinesis at the end. 
So these are the details of the cell cycle, the details of mitosis that you need to know for your exam. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.